open a part three of Gremlins 2, or I will try not to fail as badly as I did in the last video. Here we are in the uh, Clamp Television Studio. You get greeted by hands that like to pop up and shoot at you. That's it. There's a flying gremlin here too. That's a stopwatch, just like Castlevania. Everything stops. Let's just take you out. This part's kind of tricky because there's a lot of jumps you have to make with uh, a mace ball flying at you. Here's our introduction to the flail. Let's just jump the flail. Almost get blindsided by two flying gremlins. One thing that is going to be very irritating about this level is there are going to be a lot of hands that like to surprise you. Here we are with a medicine bottle, a balloon, or a power-up. I'm going to go with a balloon this time. And now, as you can see, I have my extra balloon back. You can get up to four. The paper clip is a pretty useful weapon because, uh, it has some good range, and if it powered up, you can also go in three directions. With those needle guys, whenever you hit them twice, then they break up and fire shots at you. Or when you get too close to them, they fire shots at you. So I just gotta wait for this one. Like, that one is where you had to be careful because I really got blindsided like that. Okay, that's how the balloon works. Good thing I bought that thing. I just gotta make these jumps. Here's where the, uh, one gremlin that stands still and likes to throw pineapples at you. And we're in a kitchen. Let's just weave in between these cameras. Let's see, just, um, gotta go here into the horror set. And now we're introduced to Whirlwind Bats. These guys like to, or these guys just fly around and shoot tornadoes at you. And I'm just being really cautious here. Just because. In the crypt, that's where you can get surprised, or surprised by hands. Let's see, just gotta take care of this bat now. And make these jumps. Because this is where they start putting spikes in a lot cheaper places. Go into the crypt and we're done with stage one. Wasn't too bad. Stage three two are about the halfway point of the game. This is where they start introducing you to conveyor belts. These ones either go up or down or left or right. And often they're going to put these conveyor belts with hazards like spikes or uh, those lights that like to burn you. And for some reason, lava's in this TV studio. So I just gotta get out of the way here. It's easier now because you can just uh, go across the green parts without getting hurt. This one, they're gonna require you using a conveyor belt to jump over a pit. This one's going right, so you do have to be careful like that. And just gotta jump the flail. This one is where they start introducing hazards over a pit, so... You're gonna want to go close to it, but not over, and then uh, try and make the jump. And not like that. Unfortunately, I fell into the trap and went into the lava. Let's see, platforms over bright lights, even though they should be scaring Gizmo. Here we are introduced to normal gremlins. There are no tricks with these guys, they just walk around. I just gotta make these jumps. Fortunately, they're pretty easy to take care of. Let's see, extra life. Oh, um, I gotta go with the extra life here. Okay, and uh, there's a cheaply spawning skateboarding gremlin. One thing you will notice about this world is that the enemy placement really gets cheap around here. There are also a lot of things that like to blindside you. Let's wait for these two mace balls. Let's see, this one is going to the left, so... I'm gonna wanna do that. That conveyor belt goes to the right, so... Make sure you are jumping a lot. You know, stupid normal gremlin. Let's see, this one is going left. This is where they start introducing you to a hazard with a conveyor belt. Where, as you see, one of them was going left, and they're trying to get you to go too far to the right and uh, end up falling into a hazard. Here's our boss, the Electric Gremlin. This guy is going to uh, run around and shoot shots at you, and these shots break up in a diagonal, so you want to stay directly to the right or left and just fire at it. 
Okay, and uh, it's also important to keep circling around because uh, you have long range paper clips. And that's it, he's dead. So we got a new weapon. This is the bow and the pencil arrow. Here's another cutscene where this is where they trap the electric gremlin. We're at stage 4 1, and this is actually the hard part of the game, so I'm gonna call it for today. So join me next time as we go further into the laboratory of the Clamp Center.